In this video, I'm going to use a solar panel and various types of light, tungsten, ultraviolet, and compact fluorescent. And I'm going to measure the amount of voltage and current that go through the solar panel. So here's the solar panel, here's the light source, and the distance between the two is roughly six centimeters. Okay, so this is with a 75 watt tungsten lamp and the voltage is 2.29 volts and the current is 2.26 milliamps well 2.25 so this is a compact fluorescent lamp at 13 watts and it's been on long enough for the phosphors to have heated up so this is at maximum luminescence and the voltage is 1.947 ish and the current is at 1.94 milliamps okay now I'm going to use the ultraviolet I find that interesting that the voltage and the current are going down as the bulb gets hotter. Alright, the values are getting pretty stable here, so I'm going to record them here. This is a ultraviolet compact fluorescent at 15 watts. The voltage is 184 millivolts. And the current is 180 microamps. Okay, so here I am outside using the actual sun for the solar panel and the values are 2.12 milliamps and the voltage is 2.125 milliamps or uh, volts. So, there you go. Okay, so here are the results from my little experiment. Uh, this is the light source, here's the power, and the distance to the light, this is gigameters. Anyway, so tungsten had a power output of 5.15 milliwatts, compact fluorescent 3.78, ultraviolet was 0 0.03, and the sun was 4.52. And the load I used was a 1K ohm resistor, I probably could have gotten a little more power if I'd gone with a lower resistor, but I know that solar panels of this size don't have a very high power output, so I just went with something a little higher. Anyway, thanks for watching.